uh, to the show, gents. Um, I want to go to Alan first of all. Mate, that was an absolute destruction of your team today. Talk <clears> to us. I just want to know where all the Spurs fans are. Is it just me, really? Wow. Um, hey, shout out to you, Alan. Nah. No, look, look um, oh, that was the first 20 plus minutes was a bit of a dull game. Not much yeah. going on. Um, like both teams trying to find each other out. Um, and then a crucial part of that game for me was literally that yellow card for Van der Ven literally got into his head and he was an absolute mess from that point onwards all over the place defensively we were shocking um and he's got a he literally has to get a better mental attitude than that on the pitch if you were let a yellow card affect you like that because he was awful after that i still have spurs oh, by the way doing a watch along a lot of spurs fans are now starting to say angel i'm not there yet i think it's way too soon but what i will say there are spurs fans that are not criticizing these tactics how deluded can you be? I never normally call fans, but how deluded can you sit and say that those tactics are worthy or you don't have to adapt and change? We were already 2-0 down. Yes, we're chasing the game, but you have three. Well, for that third goal, every single player was in a Newcastle half. One ball, and there was more long balls over the top the courts had before that. One ball over the top, 3-0 down. And again, it takes for the third goal to come in for Ange to make any changes. Tactics were shocking. The type of play was bad. Newcastle have so many people out. Newcastle have, what, eight, nine first teamers out, something like that, and we got absolutely destroyed. Destroyed. After that first goal came in, it was ridiculous. Basuma again, what is he doing on that pitch? I called. I said last week or the week before when we done this and all that, he's got to go. He's not good enough. Yes, there are other, there's other crap that we've got to get rid of first, but he's got to go as well. That, look, that back line, that high line is not working. You need to adapt. If you drop that five or ten yards back, you then have to have a ball over the top. It's got to be inch perfect. That, that's how you stop these type of one balls over the top. You make it harder to do. But if we that far, Isak could have just literally sat down, had a cup of tea, had a, had a crumpet or something like that, and got back up and finished and scored. That's how bad we were. Son, again, I'm back Ange, but he's got to be held to account here. You're 3-0 down. You're still chasing the game. Yes, most people had a bad game. You then take your number nine, the person who is your top goal scorer off, you then take him off and put Brennan Johnson as the number nine. What is he smoking on that sideline? He's standing there with his hands in his pockets. He's got to do better. He has to change. He has to find a way when you haven't got the tools to do the job to get your team playing better, stop these hard defeats, like these really big defeats, and then you progress when you get better players in over time it adapts. But literally, no, it's the same. Rinse and repeat, and teams are starting to find us out. Luton, long ball over the top, caught us out time and time again. Not in the Forest done it. Newcastle have done it. And I said, if we continue to play like this against the bigger teams coming up, we are going to get smashed. If we do not change what we are doing, Arsenal, Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea are going to run right against us. And it's as simple as that. But no, people not Chelsea. work for Ange. Highline FC, fantastic. No, you've got to change. It's, it's starting to really piss me off. Really Alan, can I ask you something? Can I ask you something? Didn't we Sorry. play with a low? Didn't we play with a low block last year and we got rinsed as well? Yes, we're playing with a low block with a bad defense. So of course you're going to go. Here's our bad area. Attack us here. We we'll sit back. That, that's what you do with a high line with a good defense. If you drop that five or ten yards back, Van der Ven doesn't have to do as much chasing back. You probably save his hamstrings and all that. It's one of them. You need to literally adapt. You need to understand what you can and can't do. With a bad defence, you go attack here. With a good defence, you go, we don't need a defence. The best defence in the league, Arsenal, do they sit up on the, in the halfway line? Do they sit in the uh, opposing half the entire game? No, they don't. They're about five or ten yards in their own half and all that. And when the attack comes, they know to drop back and the team comes back as one. Our the midfielder, Benton Court and Basuma today were both like, nah, Van der Ven's got it. Go an old ostrich over there. He can fucking get up and down the pitch all day long and all that. Cheat of Van der Ven. No, we'll let him do it all. Absolutely no, nowhere was that midfield. It's absolutely pathetic. Things have to change because what was good at the start of the season is not good now. It's just me being honest. And Spurs fans, I know that will watch this. You don't know Ange Ball. I don't give a fuck because at the moment, Ange Ball doesn't know Ange Ball. Seriously. I want, Dan, I want to ask you a question about your defence. You conceded 49 goals, which is huge. You rate your defenders very highly. I think in your combined 11 with Arsenal, who have the best defence in the league, including your goalkeeper, you have sort of four, three three or four of the five you, you put in as Spurs. So is it the system 
that's broken because the players are good enough or are the players not good enough and they're letting the system down because conceding 49 goals is horrendous. You need That needs to drop by about 20 goals next se season for you to go to that next level. How are you going to do that? Is it new defenders or is it a different system that's needed? No chance. It's just the players need to get more adjusted to the system. That, th like every time those balls in behind, we allow them to happen too many times in games and they keep ending up, to, ending up costing us. Um, that ball behind is like, it's, it, we, we don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know if you know, guys know that meme that the guy that stood there is like, I can't move my legs. I don't know what to do. That's literally how we defend when the ball's being played in behind. We don't know what to do. We, we're frozen, frozen. And I, I don't understand what it is. I know these defenders are good enough to defend, but every time, man, I don't know. I, I can't grasp it. Why can't they just follow the runner? And they have to be working on this in the training ground because this is the way they play football. This happens every game. There's no way you they know, just hear. You know why they're not following the runner, Dan? Because they're not good enough. They don't see it. No. It's, it's, I, it it's, so, Dan, the only reason you don't follow your runner in football, I know you've played, is if you don't want to or you don't see it. It's one of those two things. It can't... Because no. Give me a logical reason as to why they're not following their runners unless they're either too lazy to or they don't see the danger. What other reason could it be, mate? I don't know. Maybe it's an instruction. Maybe they're trying to play an offside trap. I couldn't an tell you. But I, I, so so yeah, if maybe, it's the instruction, maybe they're Dan, trying to play Dan, an offside trap. I, 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 I know, I know these players are good enough to play. I know these players are good enough Dan, to Dan, play. Dan, 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 I get that. So if they're good enough to defend and it's an instruction, then it's a system that's a problem then, yes? I, I don't know. I'm just making an assumption. I'm just putting up ideas. I, I don't have a clue. Well, what I'm that's saying, Daniel, and I ain't trying to catch you out. I'm trying to have a conversation with you here. If the players are really good... Then I think it's that then you have to start you have to start calling out your manager because his system is the problem. If the system isn't the problem, then you've got to call out the players. Conceding 49 goals is horrendous. And oh, yeah, more than Man United, United, by the way. It is. And we're and we're and we're defend and we're awful defensively. It's that's a that's a problem I have with this. I'm looking at Spurs now as a team that wants to be a Champions League team and wants to progress. You've got to start having hard conversations. And for me. I think there's an element of adaptation needed by your manager, but I also think you need better defenders. I don't think they're good enough. You definitely need a better midfielders. Basuma is not good enough. Mm. And I think those, I think this is where Spurs fans need to sit down and go, had a very good season based on expectations. You're in the running for a Champions League spot, which I don't think many people predicted you to do. But you've got to have honest conversations. You don't concede this amount of goals. Now, if the players are good enough, and it's more what Alan's saying, and it's the system. Then you have to criticize your manager and ask him to change things. But to be honest with you, Alan, back to your point, I can't see your manager changing anything. He seems someone that's very much set in his ways. It's, it's another thing. Let's talk about it's set in the ways, the whole less high up, less possession base. We had a 1.72% possession in that game. Fantastic. We were 2 0 down and they had six shots and four on target. We had four shots and none on target. Have possession all you like. If you're not, as soon as Newcastle won the ball high up, it was one pass in behind and it was a goal or it was a shot on target. With Spurs, we won the ball back high up. Benacore done it, Adoji done it, Madison done it. What it was, was tap, 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 pass, turn back and all that, slow it right down. And we missed out on chances to catch them. It's just the type of football we're playing is so poor at the moment. Like it really is. And you have to be able to adapt in games. Alex Ferguson done it over time. Guardiola's changed the way he's played. He's gone from inverted fullbacks to not inverted fullbacks. Best managers in the world adapt. If you are seeing your team, literally, you set your team up how you want to in that game. You're 2-0 down. You then go, hold on. Maybe the way I'm playing is not correct. Let me adjust. No, nope, you just stand there with your hands in your pockets, watching, getting a... The beautiful uh, sun has come out now. Finally, you can start getting a tan. That's fantastic. You just stand there looking up at the sun, beating down your face, hands in your pockets. What am I going to do today? Oh, no, we're three nil down. Let's make a change. It's just, I'm, I'm really I'm so peed off at the moment. It's unreal. I'm so annoyed. I, I, I'm going to give back to somebody else because I've just continued. No worries. I'm going to come back to young Daniel in a minute. We'll speak to Steve and Matt as well. But, uh, Kate, um, talk to us about today's game, please. W what went wrong in your opinion? Where do improvements need to be made before your next game? I'm really calm. I don't understand where everyone's having a meltdown, right? And the fact of the matter is, I'm I'm not... I, I'm, all these people that are criticising Ange, Alan, I'm including you in this. Everyone knew what we were getting when we got Ange, right? I didn't want him, but I was told he was, he was going to do great things. And for the first 10 games, he was praised by everyone. 
he is not going to change his system. That's the end of it. I'm sick to death of hearing people saying, he needs to change his system. It's so annoying. No, he's not going to change his system. If you don't like it, well, be Angel. It's as easy as that. It all boils down to the fact that we haven't got enough quality in our team to play this system. When he was at Celtic, he brought in the quality. He had the, um, uh, the striker, Kyogo, scored an absolute hat full of goals. Son isn't that player that's going to do that, right? So we let, we haven't got a midfield general. Basuma said it last week, said it the week before. I'd, sack, uh, I'd sell him in the summer and get someone better. We need a defensive midfielder. Yes, Ange doesn't play particularly with a defensive midfielder, but a player like Zuba Mendy is fantastic at going forward as well. That's the sort of person you need in this team. Poro is a good player. Udogi is a good player, but um, Van der Ven, Romero, they're all good players, but there's everyone in that team, Madders included, they all know they're going to start every game because we haven't got the quality in our squad for them to be concerned that if they have an off game, they're going to be dropped. So they all become a little bit complacent with it. There wasn't a single player on that pitch for us today that earned any sort of praise, not one. Van der Ven was awful, Romero awful, Madders awful, Werner awful. They were all dreadful. Um, don't direct the anger at Ange. You know, this this is the system he's chose to play. Like I say, if you don't like it, then be Ange out. I, I don't even care. I like what I see and I can see we're going in the right place. But for the moment, we don't have the quality to play that system. And until we get to the summer... You're, gonna, you're probably going to get this. We might lose the next three games. You know, we've got Arsenal, we've got Liverpool to come, we've got Man City. So what? You know, it's, it's the first season. I just think everyone needs to calm down. Our fan base is embarrassing. One week I've got Dan telling me that our, we've got the better 11 than Arsenal or that six of our players go in. The next, everyone's coming on crying that it's Angel. Calm down. See what ne Levy does. If you don't buy quality, then this will happen next year and Angel gets yeah. sacked. But he Brilliant. might well just buy quality and we might actually see Angel ball played the way it should be played. Okay, but so, this is the reason why... You said about people coming in saying Angel. I haven't said I'm Angel. I've said other people in my chat said Angel. You say you like what you see. What did you like in that 4 0 defeat today? I just have to ask then if you like what no, you see. No, I like the system he's that he's talking playing about Alan. overall. This but you season. can't be you can't be disingenuous one week and say you like the system and you like it like the forward football and then come on crying when we lose. Newcastle no, 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 was no, no, sensational no, no, no. today and we no, were no, no, dog shit. I don't say I don't say I like this like I say the system, the attacking football, the intent is there. But I've said since week one on here, and you go back, there's times where we are getting caught out. You have to adapt. You have to change. I we always won't adapt. Accept. We won't <laughs> adapt. We accept it. We're happy for the rest of the season. Of a good manager. People well, say he's done it. In, people say he done it in, one second. People say he done it in Scotland. Fantastic. He done it in Scotland. Let's be honest. If he done it in Scotland, he went into the second best team with the most funds. Where you're. You're pretty much expected to do what you were doing in that uh, system anyway, where you beat teams below you. So he, of course, he's yeah. going to do better in Scotland. Yes, he transformed it. But if you come into this league, we're saying that we didn't know anything about him. But this is what we're expecting. If you don't know, you don't know what to expect then. And then when you see something going wrong, you sure have to change. You have to be able to adapt. You have to be able to change. If we're saying that nothing needs to change with this, and you get the um, what well, you get to the point where you get better players, we then have to go. Our owners have to do the thing that we have never seen them do, get the top quality players in that a manager needs to back a manager successfully for us to see the top the top prospect or top product that we can see. So we're going based on our owners and then what? So if we don't get to that point, then it's just another manager by the wayside because not only yeah. are they, they're not only doing their job up top, but Andrew's not doing his job going, well, hold on, Conte got rinsed last season because he wouldn't change his setup. He was so defensive in the foot two in the middle, getting overrun, and everyone was criticizing Conte last season. But now because we can't he didn't have the defenders to play well. that system, Alan. It's the same situation. He didn't have the players that suited <clears throat> Conte's defensive system, right? That's a fact. He had dire but in his still criticize. But you can still but, criticize yeah, but if you let me finish, but now Ange doesn't have the system to play the way he plays. So you've got to give him a chance. I don't care. You know, if Ange, for me, I think Ange is the right way forward. But to sit here and say he's got to change, he's got to change. <laughs> He is not going to change. He said yeah. it in every interview he's ever done in Japan, in Scotland, in Australia. He's not going to change. If you don't like it, get on the Ange out train. 
But it's no yeah, point yeah. coming down here screaming oh, about it. Every week. Guys, I, 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 I,